Hello guys, welcome back to Constant GIS. So today we are going to look at normalized difference uh, water index. Uh, we can, it, it's also called NDWI. So this is used to monitor changes that are related to water, uh, especially in water bodies. And uh, it uh, as water bodies strongly absorb uh, this light in the visible to near infra mag 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 electromagnetic uh, spectrum. The NDWI uses the green and the near infrared bands to highlight uh, water and water bodies within uh, maybe a Landsat image. And for this case, you're going to use a Landsat image, Landsat 8. So the formula we're going to use, is going to use the green band and uh, the near infrared band. So the green band is band 3 and the near infrared band is band 5. So we're going to subtract the band 3 from the band 5 and then we're going to divide it uh, by the band 3 plus uh, the band 5. So we will interpret these uh, NDWA values in that uh, all the positive values are going to represent water, uh, water availability of water, maybe a water body or uh, flooding or humidity and negative values are going to represent a moderate drought to extreme levels of drought. So that said, we can head to our ACMAP and uh, you can see on my canvas, I have uh, the band 5 from Landsat and the band 3 al already uh, loaded. So if you can see from these are uh, all uh, bands, this is Lake Trukana. It's in um, uh, the Rift Valley of Kenya. So it's going to allow us also to see that uh, the NDWA is going to work also uh, very correctly. So the next thing you're going to do, we need to open the raster calculator and input the formula. That will calculate the NDWI. So from what we said, it's the band 3 minus the band 5. Then we divide by band 3 plus band 5. So since we are dealing with uh, some decimal points, we are going to use flat. And I'm going to say band 3 uh, minus uh, band 5. Then I will divide by this. I will enter float again. Uh, band 3 plus uh, band 5. So this formula is going to calculate the NDWI. I will save uh, a folder. Uh, let's it's just taking a second to load. So once we save this, uh, let me save to the default. I'm going to save this as NDWI, and I'm going to uh, press run. So it's going to run, and I'm going to generate our. NDWI and we'll be able to visualize it with a, maybe a different color ramp and get to interpret the values uh, from a range of 1 to negative 1. So let's uh, give it a second to finish. So it is done. You can see it has generated the NDWI. So we can, uh, I can remove as well. Uh, I can just remove these. And I can just remain with the newly generated NDVI value. So you can see the highest value is 0 0.2, meaning it's going to represent values that have uh, 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 water. And you can see from this, this is our uh, lake, Lake Turkana. So you can see it as uh, it's all white, meaning it's a water body with areas that are black being represented to be maybe areas that are dry. So you can see the lowest value is negative uh, 0 0.6. So you can create a better visual uh, color ramp and you can do uh, maybe four classes. So you can double click on this or right click and go to properties. I'm just going to go to classified and you can do four classes. So here you can see uh, from, let me, let's uh, do a better color ramp. Maybe I can do reds and uh, greens. Uh, this, this will be better. So any values from zero to 0 0.2, uh, we can uh, see these, these, they will represent areas that have uh, water, while the red ones will represent the areas that have uh, maybe experiencing uh, drought because anything below zero from negative uh, 0 0.1 onwards, it's going to be areas that do not have water. Any positive value can represent a flood, can represent water. So green and blue are going to be our uh, values that have water, while yellow and brown will be the one that do not have water. So I can use this hill shade effect for better visualization. Uh, apply this and uh, OK. So like we have said, uh, the, 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 let's zoom this to layer. 
So if, if we say blue, it means this is a, a water surface. You can see the lake has been highlighted quite well. And then you can see green. Uh, these are regions that have still positive values for the NDVI. Yellow and uh, brown indicate areas that have negative values for NDVI. So these are areas that we can say can uh, are dry, very dry, and uh, can be classified as uh, drought-prone areas. So guys, that's how you do uh, NDV, NDWI for a uh, Landsat image. So thank you guys. You can give it a try. Like this video, share, and uh, subscribe to our channel for more DS-related content. Thank you guys.